Court has dismissed former ZANU PF political commissar Sevia Kasukwere's application for direct access on the basis that it was a disguised appeal of the Supreme Court judgment which upheld the High Court judgment. Kasukwere's chief elections officer Jacqueline Sande spoke to the media after the dismissal. Good evening. Uh, the Constitutional Court has just dismissed uh, President Sevier Kasukwere's application for direct access, uh, citing that uh, it was more of a disguised appeal. So what that takes us is back to the Supreme Court, um, where we are going to be appealing, uh, we are going to be seeking leave to appeal against that uh, Supreme Court judgment, uh, which upheld the High Court judgment, barring President Sevier Kasukwere from participating on the, in the elections to be held on the 23rd of August. And what we are saying is that it's not over for us. We are going to battle this out and um, as such we had our ducks lined in a row. We still have uh, a pending application before the Constitutional Court again uh, stating that um, the High Court order is not valid until it is um, confirmed by the Constitutional Court. So this in essence uh, still means that we are still very much in the game. We are going to fight this out and ensure that President Xavier Kasukwere participates um, as a presidential candidate in the upcoming elections. Xavier Kasukwere's lawyer Method Love also said that this was only a minor setback. They have filed an application to challenge Zek from printing ballot papers without Kasukwere's name. Good evening. Uh, what we can say is that uh, litigation is never a sprint, it's a marathon. So this is a minor hurdle which we are going to overcome. Like what she said, we are going to immediately uh, apply for leave to appeal to the Constitutional Court and obviously on urgent basis because the elections are, are first coming. So on that aspect, you, the, 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 the general populace need not to worry. The interests of our client, uh, our client are going to be taken care of. But more importantly, what was granted by the High Court on the 12th of uh, July 2023 is an order of constitutional invalidity. So we have already filed an application in the constitutional court to the effect that the elections management board, which is there, cannot proceed to print ballot papers and exclude Mr. Kasukwere because that order in terms of the law, that's section 167, subsection 3, has to be confirmed first by the constitutional court for it, for it to have uh, validated. But despite that, we're also in the High Court. I, sh I, sh I think you are aware of the uh, statutory instrument which was uh, promulgated, uh, uh, SI 140A of uh, 2023, which extended the timelines upon which uh, postal uh, ballot uh, voting can be, can be done. We have challenged that. It's in the High Court. It's on urgent basis. So to us, really, this is a minor hurdle which we are going to, 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 to cure in, uh, in no time. We'll do our application for leave to appeal We'll do our appeal and before the week end we'll be back in this court and in any event we are already in this court for an order which says as long as the order of Mangota J the High Court judge has not been confirmed by the constitutional court then if the printing of the ballot papers has to happen it has to happen with Mr. Kasugwere's name on the ballot papers despite that we contest it Love Del Mangwana, the reason why Kasukwere's lawyers are frequenting the courts, had his lawyers speak to the media at the Constitutional Court. application has been dismissed. The court said that uh, this was a disguised appeal from the Supreme Court to the Constitutional Court. Although ordinarily the, the, there is an, the, an appeal can lie from the Supreme Court to the Constitutional Court only in a constitutional matter. But in any other matters, there is no appeal. The Supreme Court is the final court of appeal. So the Supreme Court has dismissed this application. It means that uh, there is nothing that will now stop Zek from proceeding with whatever process that they must in order that the elections proceed on 23 August. That is my statement. 
This comes at a time when MDCT leader Douglas Monzora has succumbed to the court frustrations and withdrew his name from the presidential race. The country is about two weeks from elections and emotions are high about the unexpected surprises that are being pulled. Chenge Chidi, HSTV News, Constitutional Court.